Our video today involves Carroll Shelby, the Goodyear Tire Company, 170 miles per hour, and the most valuable Mustang still in existence. Carroll Shelby built a single Super Snake GT500 as a part of a collaboration with Goodyear Tires to help them promote a new line of economy tires named Thunderbolt. Chief Engineer Fred Goodell chose a white Ford Mustang GT500 serial number 67402F4A00544 for the build. This car wore a different set of stripes than your typical Shelby with one large center stripe and two smaller stripes running in parallel. The man, Carroll Shelby, engineer, race driver. The car, the Shelby Mustang GT. Shelby's goal was to build a car that could outperform anything else while wearing these tires. So he took a 1967 GT500 and built it with a 427 V8 to the same specifications as the GT40 Mark II. Yes, the GT40 Mark II that helped Ford secure the first overall win for an American constructor at Le Mans. Ford had clinched 1-2-3 in the 1966 Grand Prix of Endurance. Additionally, the Ford GT40 went on to win the next three annual races from 1966. A Goodyear promotional video suggests that the 1967 Shelby Super Snake made 650 horsepower, but the official number was 520. That is an insane number in the 60s. An AC Cobra with a 427 was rated at 425 horsepower. Shelby went further with an upgraded transmission, heavy-duty front disc brakes, a Detroit locker rear end, and rear traction bars. When it was time to test not only the tires, but the car, the test was conducted at Goodyear's Proving Grounds on a five-mile-long oval in San Angelo, Texas. First behind the wheel was Carroll Shelby himself, and he took the car to speeds of 150 miles per hour. Once he felt the car was settled enough for the test, he handed the keys and his helmet over to Fred Goodell for the actual test. Mr. Goodell drove the Super Snake the entire 500 miles at an average speed of 142 miles per hour and reached a top speed of 170 miles per hour. The test was a complete success, with the Thunderbolt tires retaining 97% of their original tread and the car topping speeds of 170 miles per hour. Yes, those numbers are impressive, but even more so when you consider the white-walled Goodyear Thunderbolt tires are the skinniest tires ever mounted to a Ford Mustang GT500. These were tires that were made to be fitted on station wagons and family sedans, not on super speedways. Originally, Shelby planned on building 50 examples of the GT500 Super Snake, and the cars were repriced at $8,000. Once Ford learned the price would be almost twice that of the normal GT500, the project was shelved as they feared there wouldn't be enough buyers for the 50 cars. The Test Mule 1967 GT500 Super Snake would be the only one ever built, and that car has been sold at auction twice in the last 30 years, bringing 1.3 million in 2013 and 2.2 million in January 2019, making it the most valuable Mustang in existence. For those that don't have that kind of cash, there is another option. In 2018, Shelby American reintroduced this 1967 Super Snake continuation models. The continuation cars got a 427 V8 supplied by Carl Shelby Engine Company. That engine delivers over 550 horsepower and has made it to a four-speed manual transmission. Additionally, each one of these cars received a Shelby serial number and signatures by Carroll Shelby and Don McCain made for the original project in 1967. They built 10 of these cars, and they were all based on 1967 Ford Mustang chassis. The prices for these cars started at $249,995. That was back in 2018. It's fair to say they're probably a little bit higher if you can find one today. So that's the story of the first Super Snake. Now, there's been several editions of the Super Snake that have been rolled out since 2007, but that's a topic for another video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That way it's shared with others. And consider subscribing. There's a lot of other stories like this on the channel. Like this one over here, it's on Jim Morrison's Shelby GT500. It's going to show you some classified ads that ran in the LA Times months after Jim Morrison's death. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.